Hey, what's up guys? I am Zumi Fiasco. Welcome back to the channel. Another week has passed us by and here we are at another Red Dead Online update and we're going to be covering everything you need to know about it in this video. There's going to be some new things on discounts, some things on bonuses for playing certain roles, and also some showdown series updates. So stay tuned for all that. We're also going to go over any clothing limited items that have made their way back into the store. But most importantly, this video is just here for you guys to see what's going on in Red Dead Online because I know at this point, a lot of you don't even really play anymore and you're bored in the game. So you just tune into these videos and decide for yourself if it's worth playing and logging in or not. That is exactly what I'm here for and that's why you're subbed up. And if you're not, make sure you do subscribe. Hit that like button down below for everything Red Dead Online news, entertainment and updates. And and with all of that said, let's get started guys. This is all quoted from Rockstar Games over on the Rockstar Newswire hot off the press. The header reads, Trader and Moonshiner roll XP bonuses, plus new showdown series, discounts on Moonshine expansions, and more. Okay, let's see what we got. This week, traders are primed and ready to succeed. Traders can earn a 50% roll XP boost on all trader sell missions, resupply missions, and trader free roam events. Those that are running Moonshine will net an extra 50% roll XP on all Moonshiner sell, bootlegger, and story missions. That's pretty cool because those missions are actually enjoyable to do. I myself love the Moonshiner roll because that's the one role that I think I enjoyed the most out of just entertainment. So if you're not max rank in the Moonshiner role yet, now is definitely the time to do it because you can have fun doing it and you're getting a bonus 50% on everything you do. So don't miss out on that. Next up, we have Showdown series. Rockstar says the featured series this week in Showdown is the explosive variation of Name Your Weapon. Then they get all fancy and say, earn extra points for eliminating your adversaries by employing the more combustible weapons in your loadout. They always try to make it sound better than it is, don't they? The new location that's going to be added for this is the Wapiti Reservation in Amberino. I personally might actually try this one out because it sounds kind of fun and chaotic. I like those fast paced in your face game modes when it comes to PVP, especially in games like COD and stuff like that. So I'll try I'll try this one out. And then last week I enjoyed the last stand in the penitentiary because it was fast paced. The rounds were relatively quick and the map was small, so it was actually enjoyable. And if you lost, you could still spectate and you would get into a game relatively fast again versus the other last stand series with a huge map. You find yourself dying and waiting forever and that's not really fun but I did enjoy the penitentiary version of it because again it was just more fast paced and I think that will be the exact same case here with the explosive name your weapon. Next up for discussion we have the discounts this week. Bootleggers looking to broaden their custom base can take advantage of deals on an assortment of additions including the bar and band expansions. Meanwhile, outlaws and vigilantes alike will be wise to cash in on the numerous discounts and sales on saddles, stable slots, roll items, and more. So with the overhyped explanation from Rockstar out of the way, here are the discounts. 60% off all saddles, 30% off all stable slots, 40% off all roll belt buckles, glasses, eye patches, rings, and gloves, 30% off all coats, 30% off the Moonshine Bar, Band Expansion, and all cosmetic upgrades for Moonshine property. We've seen most of these discounts before. To note something, the 40% off all roll belt buckles, glasses, eye patches, rings, and gloves, that's pretty nice because typically those items require gold to purchase. Do you have some? <laughs> um, but they, they do require gold to buy, and it's nice to have a discount on that because anytime you can spend less gold, the better, right? I do personally feel like Rockstar is kind of holding out on us with the only 30% off the moonshine expansion stuff and cosmetics for the shack because the band and the bar are very expensive. I think that new players out there are gonna still struggle to afford that, but who am I to say what they should do? Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the limited time clothing items that have made their way back into the item shop. Wow, okay, so I just failed to realize this, but now that I'm looking closer into it, the limited time clothing items are the same as last week. And I should have known this because last week the date was specified when the clothing items would be taken back, but I thought they would add more this week. I guess they do that every two weeks though. So the limited time clothing items that have made a return, I'll go ahead and say them again, just in case you guys missed last week's video. The first one is the plaid cap. Then you have the Falwell hat, the gardenia hat, Mac Bay jacket, the Clemen coat, the Cardoza vest, the Carver pants, the Griffith chaps, and the Pelt half chaps. To be straight up, I mean these items are very generic. There's nothing crazy. You don't need to log in to get these things. I mean, sure, you might be able to cop the Cardoza vest because it has the cool scorpions on the chest, left and right shoulder. But aside from that, these other items are just very generic. I mean, the plaid cap, but come on, that's, that's just plaid cap. 
The Mac Bay jacket is the one that's the full length all the way down to the waist. So if you guys do want a winter outfit, I guess you could cop that too. And the gardenia hat, well, if you're a fan of Granny Dearest over on Twitch, you gotta cop that. I mean, the pink one, you have, you have to get it. Shout out to all you grandkids out there and fiasco family members alike. I love you both. And well, that's it for the update, you guys. If you wanna check everything out for yourself, head on over to the Rockstar Newswire. As I say before, that is where all my source, my information is because it's straight from Rockstar. I mean, you know it's all legitimate when you see it here on the channel. So just so you know, if you're hesitant on hitting that subscribe button, don't even worry about it. If you don't want to subscribe, don't. But if you want to keep up with everything Red Dead Online and legitimate news and cool videos, entertainment and things like that, do it, man. Join the Fiasco family. I promise you won't regret it. I mean, low key, we're on our way to 60,000 subscribers. Pretty cool, right? So those of you out there that have been loyal to the channel and have been subscribed all this time, thank you so much for your support. I love you guys. My Fiasco family, brothers and sisters, thank you so much. You don't understand how much it means to me. You guys are seriously insane though. I mean, Red Dead Online is pretty much sadly dead and you guys still support me. So I don't deserve you, but seriously, thank you. And now I've talked too much, so I should probably move on. If you guys want to see more Red Dead Online content more often here on the channel, leave a like rating down below and let me know down in the comments what videos you'd like to see here on the channel. You can even reference some of my old stuff and maybe I'll make a part two of something I've made in the past or you know anything you'd like to see, entertainment, gameplay, just me goofing around with friends, whatever it may be, please feel free to have a conversation with me down in the comments below. I wish I could stream right now. I would totally in a heartbeat stream Red Dead Online just so I could talk to you guys. I do have a stream over on Twitch, but I don't promote it right now because my internet service, the upload speed is just insanely slow and I can't even stream right now. It's it's literally two megabytes per second capped upload speed, guys. That's <laughs> If you know anything about internet and bitrate, that is not a feasible way to stream and you just simply can't. But I want to be able to communicate with you guys more. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can join the Discord Fiasco family server to talk to me. Guys, just reach out any way you can, especially during these times when we're all going through these things. And you guys can talk to me, you can talk to each other, like Fiasco family members, you can talk to each other and just grow the community. Whatever it is, comment on YouTube, Discord, chat, and one of the random places over there. Twitter, I don't care. At me, it doesn't matter, guys. I really want to still communicate with you. These videos are nice to have, but I don't feel like they're enough because I'm just talking to you guys and informing you about Red Dead Online and I'm not getting that interaction with you. So it's just something to think about. And if you're a new visitor, I'd love to get to know you. So leave a comment down below letting me know if you're new. And hey, if you are new and you have not subscribed yet, please consider it, you know, consider joining the Fiasco family. And like I said, turn those notifications on because I do make Red Dead Online content here on the channel weekly, sometimes news, sometimes entertainment. But regardless, if you like Red Dead Online, then you're missing out if you're not subscribed. Now, Red Dead Online fans, Fiasco family, new visitors, whoever you are out there, what do you think of the game right now? What do you think we can expect in the coming weeks for Red Dead Online when it comes to updates? Do you think we're just going to keep getting these bonuses and pretty generic discounts and generic clothing items coming back? Or do you think we actually have something big coming like a Rockstar announcement in relation to Red Dead Online? Do you think Rockstar is just working on GTA 6 and GTA 5 online? What do you what do you think Rockstar is doing behind closed doors? I want to hear what you think about it because I'm kind of at a loss. I've tried to reach out to some Rockstar insiders and it seems like the only information they get is like a few days out of an update for both games, whether it's GTA Online or Red Dead Online. And the information is directly related to what's coming out that week. Nothing really past that, nothing really further out. Sure, there are some game files that get leaked from time to time that people dig, data miners dig through and pull up to the surface. But those things are just speculation until they're actually in the game. I want to hear what you guys think as fans because a lot of times fan speculation and fan theories are almost more accurate than the actual Rockstar insiders out there. So let me know what you guys think. I want to try to communicate with you guys about that too. Maybe even throw a video together on what we fans are speculating for Red Dead Online. Then hey, maybe if Rockstar sees it, they could solidify something or validate something they're already planning, realize how good it actually is because we even think it might be coming and then they might do it. I don't know, that's just, that's a pipe dream, sure, but I just like to be able to talk to you guys about this stuff. It's really cool to me how you guys have these different ideas like the photography role, the naturalist role I've seen, uh, different things like that, the herbalist. I've seen a lot of different stuff over on Reddit even. But yeah, anything you have to say, I am all ears and I am more than happy to hear it. So let me know down in the comments and I will see you all in the next one later.